Good day. My name is Casey. Can you tell me your full name, please? Um, my full name is Pu Yuan Xun. And what should I call you? You can just call me Xin if you wish. Where you are from? Uh, I'm from Johor Bahru, Malaysia, uh, state of Johor. Now, in this first part, I would like to ask you some information about yourself. Let's talk about study. What do you study? I'm currently studying veterinary science in University Putra, Malaysia. And why did you choose that field of study? Um, this is because uh, my dog named Jerry passed away when I was 14 years old, all of a sudden. So I decided to be a veterinarian so that I can save more animals that are suffering from various kinds of diseases in the future. Okay. If you had a chance, would you change your field of study? Um, no, probably, because uh, my dream is to become a successful veterinarian, so I wouldn't give up easily despite of the challenges faced throughout my journey. Okay. Now I'm going to give you a topic, and I would like you to talk about it for one to two minutes. Before you talk, you have one minute to think about what you are going to say. You can make some notes if you wish. Do you understand? Yes. Here is a paper and pencil for making notes and here is your topic. Please do not write on anything on the candidate task card. All right. All right, remember you have one to two minutes for this, so don't worry if I stop you. I'll tell you when the time is up. Can you start speaking now, please? Uh, okay. So the movie that I will always remember is A Dog's Purpose. I watched this movie in 2018, I guess. I'm not really sure about that, but I'm pretty sure that I first watched the movie at the cinema in Ayon Bukit Indah, Johan Baru. I really like this movie because the storyline is unique and fantastic. It tells the story of a single dog who lives for multiple decades, being born as different species and breeds of dogs who have different owners throughout the whole movie. This is already a plus point for me. And besides that, I love it because of the theme of the movie, which narrates that life is about having fun, saving others, finding someone to be with, not getting upset over the past or the future, and living for today. So now I'll talk about why I'll always remember this movie. I'll always remember this movie because I have the same experience with the character named Ethan in a movie where my beloved pet dog passed away seven years ago. Ethan's golden retriever named Bailey also died when he was still young. 
Other than that, the other reason is that Ethan reunites with Bailey in his 60s, not as a golden retriever, but as a St. Bernard Australian Shepherd mixed puppy named Buddy. Buddy shows Ethan that he is his beloved childhood dog by performing tricks and responding to phrases that were known only by the two of them many years back, such as boss dog. This really makes me cry my eyes out as I really wish that I could meet my dog again one day in the future, just like Ethan. This is why this movie is so memorable and so special for me. Okay. We have been talking about a movie that you always remember. And now I would like to discuss some other question related to this. Let's consider the attitude towards movies. What type of movie do young people in our country enjoy watching? I think um, young people in our country mostly enjoy watching uh, movies with a fantasy or science fiction genre. Uh, the examples include Avengers, The Infinity War, Spider-Man, Ant-Man and Wasp, uh, Iron Man, along with Captain America. They are all movies with superheroes as the characters are trying to save the world with their supernatural abilities with an unrealistic natural side of loss. For example, uh, Avengers, The Infinity War, and Ant-Man and the Wasp also make use of changes and trajectory of technology and science to describe their storylines, which makes them belonging to the category of the science fiction genre. For an instance, Avengers incorporate advanced space elements in the movie, while Ant-Man and Wolves included the theory of particles in describing the changes made to the character. So I think that's why young people like all these movies. What is different between watching movie at home and going to the cinema? Uh, First of all, watching a movie at home doesn't have many sound effects, but in the cinema, we'll hear lots of sound effects at very large amplitude and volume. Additionally, uh, cinemas usually will have very large screens where we can feel more engaged with the feelings of the characters and the ups and downs of the storyline of the movie. At home, we can eat any snacks we want while watching the movies, but in the cinema, we have some restrictions in doing so, and we can only purchase the food from the cinema itself. Other than that, uh, watching a movie at home usually does not involve large amount of people, but the cinema will generally be very crowded with many rows of chairs provided for the customers. Last but not least, when we watch movies at home, we will be more relaxed as we do not have to care about the other people's feelings. Nevertheless, at the cinema, we will have to take note on our voice volume and our behavior so that we will not disturb the other people in the same area. Many today watch movies when they are traveling to work or college, but why do you think this is so? Uh, um, actually, I'm not so sure about this because I don't really know that many people are watching movies when they're traveling to work or college nowadays. However, I think that they will watch movies while traveling, maybe due to boredness, as they will usually travel alone. Um, in addition, maybe the distance from their home to the workplace is too long. That is why they have an ample amount of leisure time while traveling. And the time will just be wasted if they do nothing during that period. Lastly, I think that many of the people will watch movies as there are lots of interesting movies being filmed at the present time with unique storylines 
and settings which look just like our real world due to the high technology being developed. This really attracts the attention of many workers or students, I think. Thank you very much. That's the end of the speaking test simulation. Thank you. <laughs>